Welcome back folks, I am Technivorous. Today we are going to go over how to clean out the resin tray for your resin 3D printer. We are going to actually be switching over from this Elegoo Translucent that we've been using in previous videos to a skin color from Shine Song, which is supposed to be a tough resin. And I'm really looking forward to trying this out. This will only be the second resin that I've tried. But in order to do that, we need to remove the rest of the stuff from the tank. So we're going to go over that process real quickly and carefully. And the first thing I need to do, because I'm going to be pouring back and forth, is to get a pair of gloves. And I want to make sure that I keep skin contact to a minimum with this stuff. So um, I have my lovely black latex. Uh, doesn't matter what color it is. Doesn't matter what it's made out of. Just keep it off of your skin. These were, I think, 100 for a relatively cheap price in a single box. So um, I was pretty pleased with that. I do want to go ahead and take the plate here that you can't even see right now uh, and give that a quick IPA rinse before we put it back on. Um, and I should probably do that first, seeing as how I don't want anything to drip out of there into my new vat of resin. So we're going to go ahead and unscrew the top here. And basically, all we're going to do is give it a quick dip in an IPA solution shake it around a little bit and then we will dry it off and let the remainder of the alcohol evaporate. So um, that'll be pretty quick. The main focus of this video is this part right here. So uh, we are going to take the remaining resin out of this vat and then there is a special procedure built into this machine for baking on the little drips that won't come off basically and then we can peel them off with the plastic scraper. So what we need to do is get one of the handy dandy funnels that came with our kit. As you can see, this is a paper funnel with a mesh screen there. Uh, and that is gonna keep any particulate that has formed or solidified in our resin from being poured back into our resin bottle. So this is a doable thing with a paper funnel. I do, however, recommend an actual funnel and a metal strainer, a very fine mesh strainer, um, because that will lead to ease of reuse and save you money buying these filters all the time. So we are going to do this very, very carefully. So I'm going to remove the knobs, and make sure that they're unscrewed. And with that, the whole tray of resin will lift up. Now, this is where things get hairy because, as I said, I don't want to make a mess. So, first things first, we want to ensure that the mesh part of the screen is pretty well down into the bottle here. Um, because we don't want it to overrun the sides. So, uh, it is a little bit tricky to hold it in place and slow pour this, but it can be done. We're gonna do that now. Because of the drippy res nature of this resin, it does actually help once you have it to start pouring to lift up above the bottle because then it will all run out and drip in a straight seam down to where you want it. You can see it running. Um, in a fine stream that is about perfect so let me go ahead and set that there for a second and I want to take my plastic here we're gonna tilt the camera up a little bit so you can see this and it does actually pool pretty well so um, this resin is pretty nice as far as not sticking to the tray. This non-stick tray in the back is actually really, really durable and works really well. So Creelty definitely did a good job on that and they even included a couple extra in the kit. Um, that is something that you will need to order more of eventually. And we'll go ahead and dip that in the old IPA, leave it there for a second. And then I need Something to wipe this with because I have a little bit of a mess on this corner here. So we are going to get a shop rag that I can get rid of afterwards. A 
we are going to replace the tray real quickly here. Uh, screw it down. Oh, I lost my funnel. I don't want to leak resin everywhere. It looks like it's pretty well gone through. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and chuck this one out. That way I don't have to worry about it making a bigger mess. We will put the lid back on our nice big bottle of resin, which is now once again almost completely full. It's amazing how little of the resin you actually use in the printing process. So we're going to tighten these down. And we are going to remove the gloves now hit confirm because our last print finished and what we need to do is go down here to I think it's under tool and clean vat so basically um, it says please confirm the printing platform has been removed and there are moderate consumables in the vat so I do still have the printing platform attached not sure if it's gonna raise or lower that so we're going to go ahead and do as it says and remove that. I'll actually just set it over here. And we are going to replace the cover. There isn't a ton of resin in the vat. And it does say that make sure that there is a moderate amount. So we might not achieve too much of an effect, but we are going to expose what's in there for 30 seconds. excuse me 60 seconds and after that 60 seconds is done everything that's left should be easy to scrape off with our plastic scraper and then we are done and ready to start with the next fill which means we'll be moving on to trying out the next resin that we have in line all right so luckily it did not drop the build tray on me so i probably could have left it in there if it was clean enough Mine isn't super clean, so I'm glad I took it out. Let's go ahead and grab the tray one more time. And take a look at what's in here. Now, it is recommended that you use a plastic spatula to go in and scrape off those hardened chunks. Since my spatula has been soaking in IPA, it's kind of loosening these up a little bit. You want to make sure that you get all of this off here because you don't want any residual items on there to block or filter the light in any way. Uh, it is possible to use a metal scraper if you're careful, but you could cause damage to the actual surface here. Um, and we don't want to do that because if you put a hole in it, resin is going to leak everywhere. Now, we're just about ready to refill here. Hey folks, Technivers here. Today we are starting with some ShineZing 3D printing tough resin. This is skin colored, 500 grams. Uh, we are going to go ahead and fill our vat and run one of the prints that we have on our USB stick here. So um, we are actually going to fill to the second fill line today. And we're going to get several prints out of this. So we'll go ahead and just get it right where we need it there. That should do. Uh, we will replace the build plate and get ready to print. Now, I did just change my build plate. Uh, I just screwed it back on. I do need to re-level it because I had it tilted in order to drift stuff off of it. So we're going to lower it back down probably should have lowered it down and gotten it homed and screwed in before I filled the vat but it's not really that big of a deal so we'll take care of this and then we will get a print going so it's just kind of dropping it right down into that resin this is a skin color resin and it is very very flesh toned it looks a lot like skin color um, so we're just about to hit the bottom here should get a nice beep from the z-stop and there we go so that's the position we want it at we want to push down slightly and make sure that it is flush with the bottom of the build plate or excuse me the bottom of the projection screen there uh, we'll go ahead and tighten it down and pretty simple stuff uh, it's just beeping because it's sitting on the Z end stop so just a second here and we'll get it to stop. We're gonna go ahead and fire up a print. 
As you can see, the model has finished up with our second color of resin. It looks like we had a little bit of support failure on the left hand side here, but it doesn't seem to be an issue. The model seems to have built up fairly well regardless. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. Pretty simple process for changing and cleaning out your resin tray. You just need to follow the directions, make sure you follow your safety precautions, wear your gloves, they're very, very important. Um, and make sure that if you need to, you have eye protection and some sort of surface down in order to absorb any leaks because this resin will take the paint off of surfaces. Now I'm using a plastic table and the resin just kind of bonds to it and I'm not really too worried about it. But the gloves are absolutely necessary. You don't want to get this stuff on your skin and you don't want to get it on your face. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Technivorous out. Well, that's it guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers. And so far, I am just about to hit 5,000. So, uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel. But, they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out. And know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link. Check out our Patreon link. Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.